Hey, everybody. Good afternoon. Come on in the room. Come on in here. Let's talk for a second. Checking on you. Seeing how you're doing. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm driving. So y'all know how it is when I'm driving, right? All right. Come on in. Come on in. Let me see how y'all doing. Are y'all doing all right? You keeping up? You taking care of yourself? You you doing your self-care? You taking care of your health? Let me know y'all can hear me okay. Good, good afternoon, I should say. Hey, Carmen. How you doing, Carmen? Can y'all hear me? Afternoon, right? It's afternoon. Can y'all hear me okay? Because I got my um, I got my things in. Good afternoon, Lady Pam. How are you? Just checking on you guys. I want to see how you're doing. I'm on my way, too. I got to go way out. Good, good, good. You can hear fine. Good. Um, Got to go out to, um, uh, where am I going? Homer Glenn. I'm going out to Homer Glenn. Good. I'm glad you're good. Who is this? Facebook loser. You tell me who you are because who you are because when I'm looking on my, um, on my Facebook pages, I can't tell who you are. So tell me who you are. Let me know who you are. All right. Pam said I'm doing okay. Oh, thank you. Maya say good to see you. Oh, I love you too. Who is that? I got to come see you. Tell me who this is. Right, chill. Right, chill. Right, chill. Tell me who that is. Tell me who that is. All right. Yeah, I know I can't see. Hey, Brony. Good to see you. I'm glad that you're here. You were there on Sunday. It's so good to see you. I didn't get a chance to hug your neck, but I was so glad that you came. Um, Stephanie Rowell, oh my God, <laughs> I love you so much. Yes, you do have to come and see me, okay? We'll have it no other way. God bless you too. I love you more. Oh my goodness. So I just wanted to talk to you guys today and check on you. Somebody said you're trying to do your eating right, um, trying to get your exercises in, making sure that you take care of you, making sure that you do what you have to do to stay healthy, to stay sane, Maya Tay. Um, Did I decide if I was going to do what? Um, girl, it was so funny. I, he was like, you can't be serious, darling. I had to say, I have to say, I'm going to call you and tell you what happened. <laughs> hey, Kyle, good to see you. I had to tell you what happened. He's like, darling, you can't be serious. <laughs> Maya Tay, you only, only you know what I'm talking about. Michelle, good afternoon. If you're on my Facebook page, I need you to tell me who you are. Because I can't tell. I can't see your name. I see you saying hello and good morning and all that. Put your name in there if you're on my group page. So I want to talk today about trauma and triggers. Pastor Keel, good to see you. I love you more. Tam Gosey, good to see you. My Tam. We've been calling you Tammy for years. And Vicky said that's really not her nickname. I don't know what's going on with y'all. Why y'all saying Tammy? <laughs> Anyway, good to see you, Shanika. Good to see you, Sarah. I'm like, oh my God, trauma and triggers. That's what I'm talk about. But before I do that, if you're in Chicago, did you vote? Let me get mine over. Did you vote? I voted. It's this is historic, okay? If you're in Chicago, make sure that you vote. No questions asked. Vote. Tam, I got it now. Where did Tammy come from? Pass the glove. I love you so good. Lord knows I do. I love you so much. I thank God for you. Trauma and triggers. Sometimes we go through trauma in our lives and we don't address that trauma. When we were children, we maybe have gone through molestation or rape or uh, maybe we were robbed at gunpoint. Uh, maybe we were abused. Maybe we were beat up. Maybe we were um, okay, I voted Friday. I'm on vacation. All right, waiting. Per I know that's right. Waiting patiently on the outcome. We're praying that God um, does what He does best, and that's be God. So it's in His hands now. So um, sometimes we don't address the traumas that we've gone through. Okay, <laughs> yeah, these are nuggets. These are nuggets I'm trying to do. And when we have triggers of that trauma then we don't know how to address those triggers and it takes us into a tailspin. Uh, trauma, trauma, trauma. We've gone through things in our lives. We've gone through things um, in our past. We've gone through things that have hurt us. We've gone through things of abuse. We've gone through things of hurt, of uh, uh, so maybe, maybe you were abused. Maybe you were uh, molested. Maybe you were... Uh, beat up. Maybe 
Um, you know, you had a loss even, okay? And, and, and it was a traumatic loss. And so when you have a trauma um, and you don't address it, when triggers come, it takes you into a tailspin. And what a trigger is, it's something that incites that trauma. It's something that takes you back in your mind to that trauma, okay? Oh, yes, trauma and triggers. That is a good sermon, right? That we'll preach. It's something that incites you, that makes you remember what you went through. Okay, it makes you remember what you went traumatic loss. Yep, yep. I see Michelle. I love you. I'll talk back to me. Um, and when you don't address the trauma, when you get the trigger, it's like you might go into an uh, uh, anxiety attack, a panic attack. You might not be able to move. You might be uh, uh, frozen. You might cry uncontrollably. You, uncontrollably. You might have to go home. You might have something incited that trauma because it wasn't dealt with. And then you just don't deal with it. I want to tell you to deal with your traumas. Get help for your traumas so that when the triggers come, you'll be aware and you'll know how to handle them. We have trauma, but when we have a trigger to that trauma, it's how we deal with that trigger that determines the outcome of it. And one thing I try to tell people is be aware that the triggers are going to come. Okay, Pastor Kiel? Yeah, you are. I know you know. I know you know. Be aware that the triggers are going to come. And so when they come, just know, oh, this is a trigger. Oh, thinking about a death. Oh, thinking about what I went through. Oh, my God. Jesus, Jesus. Breathe. Breathe. Say a scripture. Say a prayer. Take a deep breath. Do whatever you need to do to get through that trigger so that you can keep moving forward. Okay? You got it, Pastor. Hey, uh, Ellie Corey, good to see you. Trauma and triggers. Make sure you address trauma so that when triggers come, it won't take you out, okay? Too many times we're living with unaddressed trauma, unaddressed trauma. We have, it happened, but we just swept it, swept it under the rug and didn't say anything about it. But that's a problem because when that trigger happens, you're not gonna know what to do, okay? When that trigger happens, you are gonna be, oh my God, and you don't want that. You don't want that. You ought not to want that. Okay, you ought not to want that. All right. So that's all I have for you today. Trauma and triggers. Make sure that you vote. I got a couple of things coming up this weekend. Uh, Darlene Walker, good to see you. Uh, Elder Corey, good to see you. Facebook is that. Uh, what did she say? Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. I'm, I'm listening to the uh, Dorothy Banks, good to see you, Dorothy. How are you? Michelle, somebody said, is that something? I want to talk. Okay, is that human issue? Oh, it's that human issue that brings us to it. Yes, but God can bring you through it. That was powerful. That human, we're all human. We're human. So we're human. Um, we're physical human beings having a spiritual experience because we're, we're spiritual beings having a human, a human experience. But in this body, sometimes we need to address the things that we go through. I hope, I hope I'm making sense to y'all today. Darling, I pray for your healing. Pastor, I love you so good. Lemetria, good to see you. And why trauma and triggers? Dorothy, I miss you too. I miss sitting next to you. Praising God with you. Michelle, good to see you. All right, Lemetria, listen. So that's all I got. So this weekend, I got a lot coming up. Y'all pray for me here. Um, Friday night, I'll be with um, D. Dale Griffith at Oakdale, 9440 South uh, Vincennes at seven o'clock. Y'all come back. Come back if you can. Okay, come back if you can. Hey, Kyle, come back if you can. That's uh, Friday at 7 o'clock. If y'all have nothing to do, you're not doing seven last words, y'all come by. And then on Saturday, I'll be with Pastor Kim, Kimberly Ray. Both of those, both of them are my friends. Uh, Dr. D. Dale Griffin is my friend. I've been knowing him for 20-some odd years. Pastor Kim is my friend. I've been knowing her 30-some plus years. I thank God for her. I thank God. It's good to have friends in ministry and friends in the gospel. So if y'all can come, pray me through, please. Pray, saints. Pray, saints, okay? Can you do that for me? All right? That's all I got. Let me see if I can get to a real light and I can read y'all comments. See what y'all saying. See what y'all saying. Light is almost red. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold what you got. That's what my father used to say. Hold what you got. That means hold on for me. Or hold the line. Y'all remember that? Oh, that was way back. Hold the line when they had the phone in their hand. Said, they said, hold the line. That means hold on. <laughs> All right, let's see. Lemetria said, absolutely. Thank you for praying for me, Kyle. 
Uh, Pastor Cynthia, I love you so very much. Pray me through. Uh, face praying and pressing through. Come on here. Uh, come on here. Uh, Charles Jones, it's too much for me to read because I'm driving. It's always good to see you. I love you. But can you do me a favor and please? And what? Well, well, I can't. It's too much. It's too much. Really? Uh, uh, I can't read it. I can't read it. It's too much to read. I can't read it. It's too much. I'll read it, Charles. I'll read it when I go back, uh, when I get back settled. Okay. It's too much. Um, but I love y'all. Okay. Um, is that all we got today? Trauma and triggers. Trauma and triggers. Address those traumas so that when triggers come, you'll be all right. All right. Why am I doing my finger like this? Why am I pointing like this? Why am I doing this, Dorothy? <laughs> Because I'm trying to get y'all to understand the point of trauma and triggers. <laughs> that gonna stand for Why am I pointing, Carolyn? Pastor, uh, Carolyn James, happy birthday to you. I love you so much. Because I want y'all to get it. All right, Pam? All right, I think that's all I got. I'm going to go. When I get to another red light, I'm going to go ahead on and press the stop. But I love you with the love of Jesus. Always remember whatever you do and wherever you are. Dan Ministries loves you so much. We care. We care about your future. It's an amazing and an awesome future, and you already know. Oh, but this is my turn. It's our endeavor to touch your life. Be good. Be blessed. Stay safe. Stay safe. And remember, trauma and triggers. Address those traumas, so that when triggers come, you know how to deal with them. All right. I love you with the love of Jesus. I'll see y'all later. Listen. Friday, Oakdale, ninety-four forty South Vincent, seven o'clock. Saturday, uh, Kimberly Ray in Mattison, Illinois. I love y'all. I'll see y'all soon.